the boy that your house was running. Yes, that but one. she's been in with pickle. Yeah. We're merging flocks, so I brought these up to start with. That Barama girl back. Frizzle. Pulling cross. The hybrid that was healing. Barama girl, Barama cross's daughter. With two white head stars. We've got AM mother and the AM that's got a bad foot. So now we're going to open up Aki. Because some of my original hens can be a bit mean. The only one I've got concerns for is Frizzle. Because they may peck her head. But we're bringing them all in. Well, Aki's being naughty. Pack it up, Raven. She's the only worry because they may peck her head with it being fluffy. There's going to be some fights. But there's bound to be. The pecking order is going to change. We've got another Barama back in here. She's there. Them two came originally together. But a few of my original girls can be quite mean. And she's going to be an escape artist. She's, she's looking for a way out. There isn't a way out, is there? No. Might be because of the Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's the Barama you held the other day. But broody girls, chicks are being separated off, so we'll go let the others out. There's plenty of food in the hangar, it's just damp, so they can clean that up. It's like a mash today. Aki Med. So we've merged because this is a big flock. What doesn't get on with them, I ain't got a clue, unless Kay's done it. What doesn't merge in that group, we'll go in with. Two minutes ago. So unless he's smashed the door open, because I only slam it because it jams shut. But now just trying to merge the flocks a bit. Yeah, just a couple of scoops. Again. That's enough. Ignore my hands, I've had my hair dyed. And I was dying my friends here and we ran out of gloves. So I kind of just decided to try. go straight in with my hands and I have used six different products to try and clean it. Including bleach. Including everything from bleach to nail polish remover to baby stuff. And it ain't shifting. So we're pretty much stuck. So I've got blue, bluey purple hands. It don't look bad on the nails. Very nice nail varnish colour. Very nice nail varnish colour. Like a metallic blue. But it's not good as a hand colour. These need bedding today. That's today's job, cleaning guys out. Should we use water to it? Yeah, because it geese. She seems to have settled nicely. We'll take that down and we'll use that on others. The geese are being noisy. So we've got. So 
a whole different perspective. Closing down is a bit more stressful. Yeah. Now as the flock's merged, I will be removing the two red cap hens to run them dry because I don't want them um, giving me crossbreeds for the eggs. I want pure eggs. Uh, I think there's only, yeah, because we've not done bantams because we were collecting birds, weren't we? Yeah. So, stay tuned and we'll progress you with today's antics. It's getting it. Well, it's filling nicely. May, I, may actually fill up over the next few days. We've got a few more days of rain coming. Tadpoles, oh. You can see them moving around. Oh, they're so cute. How can you call tadpoles cute? This is cute. They've got a little tiny wiggly worms with heads. <laughs> wiggly worms with heads. Come here. There's loads. Are they going to change frogs? Yes. Tadpoles with I. With I. Two one frogs. In our boat. I was saying there's about 500. Yes. There's more than that, probably. Thousands. Yep. Oh, there, look. You can see them. Yeah. Oh, they're all just in 10,000. They're not going to have two tips, right? Oh, down here. Okay. There's two tips, there, Mummy. Can I use your ripples? I know one of them is tapping. You can see them moving with the vibrations. About 10,000. <laughs> These were definitely ready for the bigger space. Oh. Pretty tame chicks. Put these in first, then when we merge the older ones in later, is these ones territory, so there shouldn't be as much fighting. But these were ready for space. <laughs> We've got a very poor quality AM sat there. He's already going red. He's going. Of course we've got an idiot down back. We well, could hang that view up on the on that tree that the view out over there. Can do, we'll just let them have a get used to this bed. Is that tall like one of them? Yes. Looks like a boy as well. And I think we have actually got two well summer pullets. Two pullets. Maybe three pullets because the male's got different colouring. There's the male. Male's got some tall. No, uh, next up white one. Yeah. And these are pullets. Oh, got so we could have two of each. Yeah, it's got bigger comb. He's going red already. So we may have. Yeah, we may have two girls and two boys. Definitely got one girl, but we may have two girls, two boys, which we got. But this one may be a little girl. Uh, it looks like my little white olive egg goes a boy. Because that one's possibly an olive egg, it might be a boy, so that one will be going. Because we don't need males when we get a chance. Purchase. We'll put another cage other side and just run them across. What, bring one of cages out of there? Yeah. Have we got one empty? A big one? Because I know I've got the AM boy in one anta. Ideally, it needs to be flat, builds them up level. Well, 
Well, think of some. Uh, are these ones related to the ones down there in the fish tank? Yes. All these are from Mabbard. We've got the red cap at the back. All my dark egg layers, which there's a few boys slipped through. The world summers are from Mandy, where we went the other day. And they're from dark egg, from my dark egg layer. The Barama is from my original set. The only Barama I've got that's not from my original set is the one that I had the other day. But this, I, there's an AM in here, a cock. No, that one's a pullet. That one. That one there. It's that one there, um, which will be going probably tonight because it's already going red. And that is not show quality. It's not even pet quality. It's a boy anyway. I'm not wasting my money on that. His comb's gone already, so he's going tonight. The Will Summers sell. And the Olive Egg, I'll give a few more weeks to finish maturing. Barama will stay because the Barama I'll be able to find a home for. Yeah, they're not done having the mad attack yet. But no, the World Summers will sell, the boys. The Barama will sell. The Olive Egg may not, so I won't put my money into that. And the AM that's bad. No, I'm not putting my money into that. Oh, Olive Egg cocktails quite popular at the moment. Are they? Yeah. They're selling 15, 20 quid. Well, if it covers a couple of sacks of feet, we'll grow him on. Same as dark egg layers. They're actually, I might leave, if there is any more boys, I might leave them to grow on because... Because they use olive eggers over for Mars bars, don't they? Do they? Yeah. It's the cross olive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah for mine, it's the olive eggers, the hens, and you put them back to the original dark egg laying cockerel to create the F2 olive egg. There's a couple of different ways. So many different, yeah. Mars bars at Moran Cream Red Bars. Red bars, yeah. Which I'll be bringing some cream leg bar in next year. I've got my name down on eggs. I've got my name on some uh, eggs when they start laying next year from Shell Quality. And they lay a lovely egg. Lovely, nice blue egg. Nice size. Nice size, it's bright. There we go. Close up. That is a very poor quality I am. Not at, all, at all, no, he's gone. His no, eyes his camera. eyes are even the green. If you look, they're not black. You see it's in splodges as well on comb, isn't it? Yeah, so that one will be going tonight. We'll let him have a fun day with his sister. Oh she's trying to Okay, they've had six and a half minutes of the chicks going nuts. <laughs> I think this one I've just gone YouTube and carry on and on and on this one. Cause they got crackers. First space, they needed it. They're old enough now, they're nearly fully feathered. Where are you gonna put water? I'm gonna leave it in there for nah and then when we take this take out later, out we we'll hang it. Yeah. Put and a bar across there to there actually and hang it in the corner up. Yeah, Same so as the feeder. Because they'll have the pheasant feeder outside. Yeah. But look at all, the, these won't know how to use a pheasant feeder. A hanging feeder. So we can put a small hanging feeder in here first. Yeah. Because these won't be able to use the fe pheasant feeder. That's the barama look. This can be a weird one. Looks like he's making something. It does, yeah. The males feather up a lot slower. Almost partridge colours, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was going to be Colombian. But it's got brown in him. It's a confusing colour. Yeah, let's see when matures into the old cell I was going to say, it's a mishmash barama. No, no. Smaller. Yeah. And then it'll be just right for sandwiches. We can have some nice rolls tomorrow or I was explaining Wednesday. to Kaylee because she was worried about heating the shed when I move these in about a week because they won't be fully feathered and they don't fully feather. But when she felt the heat of them now, 
they are literally burning up 24 7 which is how they process the food so fast they will not need heat they will sweat these are genetically altered to burn up they are red up to the touch aren't they mm -hmm. Th technically they've got a fever yeah they're that hot they've got a fever i'd be worried about the other chicks if they were that warm yeah you would but these are designed to get hot to get hot because then they digest the food fast so the metabolic rate is five times as fast as a normal chick. as you can see how much weight these have gained and grown i'll attach a video after this of what they look like a photo after this of what they look like when we got them to what they look like now size wise when i first got them but let's get a They are huge. They are no normal chicks. So well, we've cleaned that. Better done. Birds are happy. Boarded so they can have a different door open. So they're happy. As you can see, he's got his butt in there. There's his head look. And the geese have got that. So I switched it about a bit. This is due for raking next week. When they've had fun with all this bedding. Yeah, so we've all got clean, fresh bedding in here. These two are actually not too bad. They keep pacing, but they're not too bad. And we have the mucky ducks and the muskies. And the other two geese. They're all cleaned out, courtesy of Katie. And then we've got these guys, which seem to have settled down absolutely fantastic after I put another seven hens in. All clean out. We left their bedding outside. They can scrabble it, but they've got fresh bedding in the nest boxes. So they're having a clean up day. And these will all be raked tight again next week. We'll rake all three pens. Oh, excuse me. I'm shattered. And yeah, they're all having fun. We've got new hens there. We've got two white ones over there, and the others are up there. Got a brown hen there. There's still a bit of pecking to go, but there's, what, five, six, six new hens in here? Brahma, brown, two, two. Yeah, six new hens put in here. Ahmed's handling like a boss. We counted 19 in this pen. Two AMs, two white ones. It was seven. Seven, because that pail is on. Oh, yeah, frizzle pollen. So seven new hens in here. Oh, eight, because of uh, Barama Cross. Yeah. So it was eight we put in eight. here. So we're up to 19 birds in this pen. 19 or 20. We keep miscounting. They're happy. So I think we're going to tackle the grapevine with me being the tallest. We're going to go tackle the grapevine. Have you got any more okay. that uh, No, we'll do rabbits tomorrow afternoon. Why she shut the door? Or was it you that shut the door? Me. It's red hot, we don't need to go shut. It's Who sweltering. Was it? Oh, I've not opened it yet. Put that there so it doesn't fall over. But no, the grapevine seems to have took a sharp exit. There, look. So we're gonna go and chop all that bit down, these long bits here. And I've got a couple up there. So we're gonna chop them down a bit. So, stay tuned. Bit. Taylor's torturing her son. <laughs> I've stripped back this again, mother. All at the top, so it's not growing through the window as much. It's still got odd. You. But trimmed it down again. I've still got evidence on the floor. Look, trimmed all this end. Right, bit or don't stand on it. Shall we check the chilies? No. Head up. Still devastated. I'm throwing a hissy fit. I've got no chilies yet. They're not full. No. Still empty. It's been bloody warm enough. I know. I'm devastated. Absolutely devastated. I'm going to throw a hissy fit. 
I did say I was gonna throw a hissy fit. At least we could have tomatoes. Oh, lots of tomatoes. <laughs> These are starting to open up. I've just got to get it to go round. That'll grow and that'll twist around itself. I've right, spin these squashes out there, mate. There's too many. They're going to start overtaking each other. Mm, this should be all right, intertwining them. I think that's what the plan is, intertwine them straight up. I'd have only ran. I wouldn't keep that one there. That one might Pumpkin be will one. definitely overgrow that one. We've got lots of flowers trim, Mum. If we don't go and mow, you've got them tomorrow. Love you, Mother! She could go over there. We'll sort it. God, this looks weird. We've took the electric fence out. The shed, there's only Shiny Boy in. We've moved all the chicks. Shiny Boy's been left because he's trying to breed with the babies. And if he tries it with the Bahamas, he's going to break the hips. So, the electric fence is out because the mower's fixed and I'm mowing. It's coming up tomorrow afternoon. You can see where they've been. There's a loop. <laughs> but it was ready because you can see where the wire's been sat. They don't get close enough. They wouldn't go close enough. <laughs> so, and we, it, rather than do it by hand, I've said I'll bring mowers up and we'll do the entire garden because that's check Katie's job. The kid's job in the morning is going through everything and clearing it. All the stones out of The stones and anything that's not supposed to be. Mel is doing well with her baby. She'll be removed soon. Won't you, babe, once we've got a spare cage? Don't bite me. She's a good girl now. But we'll bring her pen forward. Pardon? Right, there's new fresh carrier bags in that. Use two of them. You find them? New carrier bags. What about the other bag? What's in with my purse? No, it's just, it's just, it's just Jade! Yeah. Go in the boot of my car! Sorry about this, we're looking for carry bags. Climb through the back door, in the boot, there's a bag full of bags. Bring them out for me and pass them Katie. Yeah. But no. We might have to lift this a bit more. We've got the electric fence on it to keep it neat and tidy. This one's empty. Uh, Mr. Mistopheles, they'll all be fed. We'll take the plastic out that in a sec. It's full of tie wraps, if I'm not mistaken. But this pen is for Dottie with her babies. And then when Dottie's taken away, it's just the babies. And there's a lot of babies, so they'll clear the ground fast. So this is all ready, kids will clear it all, we'll mow it. But there's only shiny boy left in there. Might end up his dinner. No, that shiny stays, it's his brother. His brother's become slightly aggressive, so we've said if we've got to choose, shiny boy from there will stay, the smaller of the two. I've got you first from the car. That's lovely, thank you, Katie. Because shiny boy down here isn't aggressive. She's still sat tight. We did put the Saramas with them chicks. Unfortunately, they beat the living hell out of them. So the Saramas are back in their pyramid that's been cleaned. My goose is still set. Katie's got bags because she's fucking rabbit food. We need rabbit food at home for my girl. We've actually taken the white birds out of here, so we've only got dark egg layers now. Uh, just two in each. Should do two it. Ones. Yeah, two of the big green ones. <laughs> Check for some more eggs. No, there's only the dark egg layers in here now. I pulled two eggs out earlier. Charon's still got bananas left. These two are okay. Still no eggs. She's a very finicky girl. No eggs. 
still. I might be nicking that hutch soon though. We've got to make a choice between the Saramas because we haven't got enough hens. So it looks like Jap might be going. I'll advertise him tonight if someone local wants him. They can take him for a small fee because he is handleable. He is a showbird. He's just not right standard for me and Brennan's better. So Jap don't make it. Blue's still doing okay. Looking a pretty boy now. The Sarama chicks are back in there because they beat them up quite dramatically actually we've got a bit of blood on them but they've got all clean disinfected they've got nice stance actually these pullets she's got a nice stance it's just mashed the faces a bit so they are bullies aren't they we've got cuts here no that is just colouring believe it or not is it? Yeah, it's the way she coloured up. She's always been like that. Well, it's lifted it. It's, it looks it, but it's chocolate. Because yeah. of the chocolate, it goes to a dark skin coloured. Looks it's so strange. But it looks like we've got coxie in them. There's the lid in the poop. Look. Oh, bugger. Which means these need a coxie treatment. Oh. Luckily, we've got it. But that's how you tell if a chick's got coxie. But they're bound to have coxie. These are broody chicks. Oh, uh, they are, aren't they? Yeah, broody yeah. chicks carry coxie. Why we can't mix them with his other chicks? I've just thought, are we taking chicks out of there and putting them where they're not? No, because they're bantams, aren't they? There's just the two AMs that we can take out of there, which will just leave the Sarama pullet and the Peking pullet in there then. Well, wouldn't Sarama and Peking go in with these? Could do. Nah, not 12 weeks and they're incubator chicks. And they are, aren't they? Yeah, so we can't quite do that yet. <laughs> when they're 12 weeks, we can. This is wriggly man. <laughs> wriggly man. Is. We're going to have to start ringing Incubator and Broody. It's, it's all up here. It's in my head. That one's yours. Mine. I know, but for... I've got my cleaning now as well. But That's one day one of us get confused. And... Plenty's got plenty of food for her bunny and I've got plenty for my bunny. Although she'll probably be back down in about three weeks. Hmm? My bunny. Satin. She'll be coming back down. <coughs> we had to put some covering on him because he got extremely warm. We've been discussing COVID today because she's showing signs of pregnancy. She's huge. She's she's plumped up quite fast. So I believe she's going to have a nice big litter. So I've been discussing where she'll be going. She'll be replacing Dottie. She'll go in Dottie's pen when Dottie goes outdoors. This little manny boy is going to end up in that cage. Because he's manny. See if he's going to be nice today. Right, hey, you're going to be nice. Be nice. Hey. No, he's not too bad. He's just unsure still. They'll worm him later, I think, get him ready. Because be, we'll be putting the next set of does to in about a week's time, I think. Which means there'll be three weeks between the litters. But he is a stroppy boy. He's not used to it. The plan was to put her in the pyramid, but the chicks didn't separate. Oh, we've got part lop. Oh, no, we got lop tabs. Oh, duck. She's part lop here. Look at her. Can see. Right now. So these guys need a bigger cage. These will probably end up in COVIDs. Or his, swap him for them. We've done this pen, I was absolutely, my heart rate was at 111 at one point because it turns out there's a hole to the bee's nest there. And I was stood on it. I annoyed them quite dramatically, actually. Look, we've even built the gate. Because the chicks are going to clear this first. We ain't got Defra's number yet. They've not phoned me with a number for. Oh, nice. We've got a spare cage there. No AM. Spare cage there. So dog cage is in there because we put it up. We've got another one to go up. Can use it. But now that's them. Ventilation up the top. But this is all set up. Oh. 
We'll go up there in a minute. Brought Blue out for a health check, just to check him over. Look at the sheen on him. Absolutely gorgeous. Still as black as the ace of spades. Yeah, you're pretty and you know it. We're going to baby oil him soon. But he is looking to say he's got some damage on his neck from the red caps. Look. But now still as black as ace of spades. He's a pretty boy and he knows it, aren't you? Yes. Still many, aren't you? Okay. Well, it's never going to change. Good job, I love you. This is us signing off. Stay tuned. Meat chicks, been sweating today. It's been that warm. They're not going to need the heat plate. They burn up. I thought I'd give you a nighttime view. Everyone's had the food. Water. I've even put a bit of grit in the feed bowls. They've got mixed, uh, they've got chick crumb and growers pellets. So everyone's nicely settled. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. Okay. Good boy. Steady wet. Yes, not the mama. Good girl. Have you been there? Nothing. 